Okay, so that joke was choking arm on bottom. On Tuesday, we went over this, this straight jacket to trap the arm, which is what we're gonna do. So choking arm is gonna be on top this time. I like to have this bottom hook, so it's not as easy for her to just like use her foot to push it down or her hand and get over. I like it almost like it's a body triangle. And then I'll, I'll either stack my foot or stomp on the hip. This helps move her around too, that stomp. So I have my seatbelt, choking arms on top. I'm gonna go cross grip, cross grip. I'm gonna shove this down, trap. I like to dig that heel in and I like to hide it. You can cross your feet over, but it is possible that if she's flexible enough, she's gonna ankle lock me. So, which she will, all right? So, we're here. I'm gonna pull out my own lapel. Now I'm gonna go wrist ride. So I went from here. Actually, I like to go wrist ride first to control. Reach back, get my lapel. If it's not out, I'm gonna pull it out and do this like air guitar to really get some slack in it. I'm gonna come here. Pull it across, right under the, the chin. A lot of people are going to like tuck, so you'll have to like really work it in. But for sake of the technique, let's not tuck her chin. I'm just gonna go right there. And I'm gonna go from here to backstop the back of the head. I like to use like a knife hand, but you're gonna see what's gonna work for you. I just put the blade of my hand right against the back of her head, and I'm gonna pull this. I go here, here, and then pull and push. Can you finish it without putting your hand in your You can, you kind of have to like, yeah, you kind of have to cut more of an angle and it's, it's really just pulling her head off. Um, I'd have to kind of like switch grips and it's doing the same thing as the, the back stop. So, all right, so back mount, seat belt, cross grip, push this down, heel comes in, drag it and I like to just put the top of my foot on her back. As long as my bottom hook is like good and I'm not getting lazy with it, I should be able to really control. Fun note though, if I bait her into going over this leg, I'll put her right into a crucifix. So not the end of the world. It's just, I wanna try to finish, finish a match without too many like position changes. So I trap the arm. Wrist ride, get my lapel, pull right across the throat. Backstop. And when I backstop, I kind of go on top of my lapel too, so I can push it down a little bit. Because if it's like way up here, like I'm not gonna quite get the same choke. But when it's under and I go on top of my lapel on the back of her head, and I just backstop and pull. So this leads right into the assassin choke. Here, here. And like, if I can't reach here, I'm gonna abandon, go here. Oh God. <laughs> so like, so like if you can't really get that chicken wing, you can retract and backstop. Is this still considered an assassin choke? Yeah. So with the chicken wing? Then why can't a bow and arrow be the a bow and arrow with the chicken wing? <laughs> this is a bow and arrow. This is a chicken wing. I feel like it's the same thing. <laughs> Slight difference. Questions? All right, three. One, two, three.